Let's get started. There are actually six things, six things that plants need to grow big and strong. The first one is sunlight. Sunlight. What is sunlight? Well, of course, we know we have the sun. It rises every day and it gives us light. And that is what sunlight is. Sunlight is the light. And we, of course, we have that word again, the light from the sun. We put these two words together and we get sunlight. It's very warm, isn't it? If you go outside, let the sunlight on your body. Ah, it's very warm, very nice. That's sunlight. It helps plants to grow. It also helps us to grow a little bit. I mean, if we stay inside out of the sunlight, we're not very happy. So go out, enjoy the sunlight. It'll make you happy. Of course, if it's not too cold outside, right? Okay, so that's the first thing that plants need to grow. What's the second thing? The second thing is air. We need air too, of course, but plants need air as well. Air, if you take a look at this picture, most of this picture is air. All of this part of the picture is air, right? This is the ground. But air is the gases that surround the earth. There are many different kinds of gases that surround the earth. We use some of those gases. Plants use different gases, but they're all mixed together, and we call that air. We cannot see air, right? You can't see it. It's invisible but it is everywhere. It's in this room. It's in the room that you are in right now. And just as we breathe air, just as we need air, plants also need air. Okay, so that's the second thing that plants need. What's the third thing that plants need? Let's take a look. Water. Of course, water is very important. How do we describe water? How do we define water? Water is basically a liquid. Uh, remember, we talked about a liquid is something that, is, that can flow. It doesn't have any shape. It can move from one place to another very easily. It flows. A liquid that is necessary for life. Water is necessary for all life, not just plants. But what does water do for plants? Do plants drink water like we do? No. Plants need water uh, to move food to the parts of a plant. There are nutrients and, you know, you could say like uh, minerals and maybe, you know, like nutrients, uh, food in the soil that the plant needs. How does the plant get those minerals out of the soil? It can't do it if it's dry, but if it's wet, the water helps move the very small minerals up through the plant. And that's how plants need water in order to get the food that they need to live. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. What is the fourth thing that plants need? Let's take a look. And that is space. Of course, everything needs space, room to grow. If a plant cannot grow, if the, there's no space, right? Where is it going to grow? Especially think about a tree, right? A tree needs a lot of space to grow. So if you take a look at this picture, right, you see that there is space between the rows. Space is the area available for use. So if you have space, you have area that you can use. It is available for you to use that space, that room. If there is space, a plant can grow big and strong, right? If there's enough space between the plants, these plants can grow very large. And of course, if you think about the trees in the background, they need a lot more space, right? If there's a small tree and it's trying to grow and there's too many trees around it, that small tree cannot grow very well. It needs more space to grow big and strong, okay? So that is space. What's the next thing that plants need? The next thing is soil, right? I talked about that a little bit before. When we talked about water, we said there are many nutrients uh, there are as many ingredients in the soil that plants need to grow. This looks like very good soil, right? Looks very rich and very nutritious for the plants. That's good soil right there. Soil is where plants grow. Soil is the top part of the earth. But remember, not the entire earth is covered with soil. If you go to the desert, there's no soil in the desert. It's just sand. So in order for plants to grow, we have to find very good soil. And we call it, the, it's the top part of the earth. Sometimes people call it 
topsoil. And if it's very rich and dark brown and wet like this, that's really good soil for growing plants. Farmers really like that style. Okay, so the, the next thing that plants need is warmth. Warmth is the state or quality of being warm. Are you warm right now? That means, ah, you're comfortable, right? You're not cold, you're warm. Take a look at these plants in the picture. They look like strange plants, don't they? Actually, we can't see the plants. It looks like straw uh, things have been put over the plants. We could say that somebody, maybe a farmer or somebody who's caring for the plants, put these straw hats on top of the plant. We could say that these are like plant clothes, right? These are clothes for plants. Of course, you don't see this all the time, but what the farmer or the person who is caring for these plants, what are they doing? Why did they put these things on the plants? To keep them warm. If the plant gets too cold, it will die, right? Just like any living thing. If it gets too cold, it will die. So somebody is protecting these plants by putting plant clothes on the plants, right? Actually, don't say plant clothes, it's just kind of a funny thing, but it looks like these straw uh, over uh, coverings, these straw coverings are on top of the plants to keep them warm and healthy. Okay, um, we have another word here. Carry means to take something from one place to another. Carry, if I carry these pens from here to over there, I'm carrying them. What are these butterflies doing? And there's a bee here too. What are these insects doing? Here's a little ladybug. Ladybugs are cute, aren't they? They're very cute. But these animal, these insects, sorry, these insects are carrying pollen from the plant, one plant to another plant. They're helping those plants to live. So to carry is to take something from one place to another. Okay, let's move on. We have ground. Ground is the earth where plants live. So this is an interesting shaped piece of ground. Of course, it's supposed to look like the earth, right? But basically, plants grow from the ground. Now remember, not all ground is good for plants. We need soil. This looks like good soil. But plants don't really grow well in sand in the desert. That's why there are no plants in the desert. So this is good ground for uh, plants to grow. It's the earth where plants live, in the ground, in the ground. Lesson three, what plants need to grow. Sunlight, the light from the sun. It helps plants to grow. Air, the gases that surround the earth. We cannot see air, but it is everywhere. Water, a liquid that is necessary for life. Water moves food to the parts of a plant. Space, the area available for use. If there is space, a plant can grow big and strong. Soil. Soil is where plants grow. Soil is the top part of the earth. Warmth. Warmth is the state or quality of being warm. Carry. To take something from one place to another. Ground. The earth where plants live.